today's thing is how are you all going today? So you might have heard somebody that I'm yet to introduce you all to. I don't know why it's taken me so long, but I want you all to say hello to little dude. <laughs> say hello little dude. No, no, not nibbly the ears. You gotta say hello to them. Yeah, yeah. He's um <laughs> he's my little love boy. He is to help keep Twink occupied and uh, it's some company where I am too busy to uh, have them with me in the shed. Now he's going to join me for this unboxing video. Hopefully, if he's not too loud, if he gets a bit loud, I might have to put him back in the other room or back inside until one's finished. But uh, he's a little excited because he actually hasn't, I think he's only been in the bug shed twice. So uh, this is like a whole new world to him. Um, full of, uh, yeah, big spiders. <laughs> But alright guys, if you're new here, thanks for jumping in. I'm going to be unboxing some Corotas today. I'm pretty sure there was snails and a couple species of cockroaches in here. Um, oh, not too loud. No, no, no. Yes, you are. You're very excited. You get very excited. He does. Don't you? Yes. Um, but alright, I'll just get this one ring. I'll get right into it. So it looks like I know what's kind of distracting little dude while I do this unboxing. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll do this. Yeah. I'll grab all that. I'll put it in there. Is that? Oi, cheeky. Come on, little dude. Go put it in that. There we go. Is it distracting? No. No. No, it's not. It definitely isn't. <laughs> okay. Let's get them out. And that is uh, my invoice. We'll just get the containers out. And then... We'll go from there. Oh, this one's got some weight in it. This one will have the snails. Yeah, here we go. Check those guys out. There's some melon snails there. Yeah. <laughs> They're all ready to go. And I think there will be burrowing roaches in here. Not sure which ones yet. I'll have to um, get them out. All right, little dude. I need to get into those. Um, you want to help me out? I think you can help me out. Yeah. Let's get them open. Let's do the roaches first, I think. That'll be the way to go. Let's grab a couple of containers just to put everybody in. Alright, let's get these guys open. Who's in this one? Alrighty, I think that is the bicolor burrowing roaches. Look at them, aren't they just cute? They do get a little bit bigger than these guys, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to double check. Um, check them out. Yeah, you are, you are something different. I wonder what their full size is like. Are they adults now or they get a lot bigger than this? But check them out. Yeah, it's something different. Usually I only ever get giant, oh, usually I only get giant barn cockroaches. So this is something very new. But these guys definitely were not cheap to get in. They cost a lot more than the giant barring cockroaches. I'll tell you that now. They're all right in there for now. They're only small. I'll just make sure no one got away. Yep, there's four in there. So I'll keep them aside. They can stay in that container. It's nice and easy. Um, we're somewhere safe and little dude. I'll push them up there. So this one here, this one must be the juvenile giant barring cockroaches, I reckon. Make sure no one's going and climbing to the um, paper towel here. Hello, sweeties. Hello. Here we go. Here we are. Check them out. Now, these guys are only juveniles. So, yeah. If you haven't seen giant boring cockroaches, here's a clip from another video. But they're just stunning. Let's get... Oh, 
Sorry, little dude. Let's put this turn you back over. There we go. Little dude doesn't know he has to be gentle with the bugs yet, so I'll always <laughs> remember I have to put the lids on them. But he really... Ah, oh, check that out. These guys are so adorable. I absolutely love my giant boring cockroaches. And like I said, and showed you just a second ago, they are absolutely cute. I think the great thing about um, about this camera is it actually has animal tracking on it, which is pretty cool. And it seems to work with the bugs, which is even better. If they're quite small, not so much, but at this size, it does, which is pretty. I'm pretty happy with. Yeah, let's put you back, buddy. But you, who? What are you? You? I reckon you're fit. Yeah, you're a female. I reckon this one's a female. Because you never really want to hold the giant boring cockroaches for say more than ten to fifteen minutes. Um, they can get stressed out quite easily, and that can also cause them to you know, to shock and sadly pass away. But they are a great pet, and they are also communal. Um, the biggest uh, colony I've ever kept was, I think, 20 uh, adults together. But you do need a lot, a nice, large uh, terrarium or enclosure or even a fish tank uh, for them so they have enough areas to burrow. <laughs> there you go, now, George. That's my glasses. Yeah! Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume, because I did order 10, so I'm going to assume this one's going to have the other giant burrowing uh, roaches in it. Yep, nothing's in there. There they are, there's all five. Hello, sweethearts. How you doing? There they are. Hello, little one. Oh, you're so cute. I love the sounds they make. No, it's not for you to play with. No, they're not toys. We'll leave the paper towel in there because that will just give them, you know, some shade and, you know, make them feel a little bit more secure until I get to housing them. All right, singers, before I go any further and get into the snails, um, I want to give a shout out to one of my Patreons, Priest. Mate, thank you so much for becoming one of my Patreons. Your pledge really does help a lot. It also helps to pay for the beast, which is really handy because, yeah, it's a little expensive. But thank you so much, guys. If anybody else there is thinking about uh, becoming a Patreon, um, I'm getting a little bit more hang. I'm getting the hang of it a bit more. So I am now starting to put up daily, you know, pictures, posts, behind the scenes now. By the looks of it, because I've kind of have had a couple of people who want to see that. Um, okay, let's get into this last one. Oh, better make sure this one's going because it wasn't. All right. So what do we have in here again? Uh, there's two species of snails. Here we have a melon snail. Um, I do have a video of these guys, uh, I'll link it up here, so if you want to see these guys a little bit further, check them out, um, they're absolutely uh, a beautiful snail in their nice creamy colour. Here's a McKay snail, McKay, I think I'm saying that right, yeah, let go of that one. These guys are absolutely adorable, the McKay snails, and they're really good climbers, like all snails are really. But these guys, um, every time I keep them, they're never on the ground. These guys like to borrow. These guys like to be, what's, what's the, a borrow? Uh, but these guys absolutely love to climb the glass and huddle up together. This one's a little shy about popping his head out. They're most likely out like this to grip onto the container during shipping, just so they're not moving as much. Um, but Old Mate did pack them really well, and they always come safe every time I get snails up in. Um, but yeah. Look, this one's popping his eyes out. Say hello. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you going? Little cutie. <laughs> I'll keep them in here uh, until I house them. There's enough moisture and they're pretty, they're pretty safe in there. Those other containers were not needed, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Alright, singer says, you can see I've got a little bit of housing ahead of me to do. Um, it's going to be a pretty busy day. Uh, I need to get these adults out of these enclosures around me here. They're the ones that arrived in my last unboxing of all those juveniles. And I still need to get them out and check out their size and chuck them up on my site. And probably do some more matings tonight because oh, I've still got so many to go. Uh, usually it's not so bad, I can get through them pretty quick. But that's because I'll be mating three or four of them at a time. This time I can't because I'm trying to get everyone on camera. Um, but alright, singers, I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll catch you all soon. And uh, until next time, which I think 
will be Monday. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.